Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to the channel. Now recently we just finished up with Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition. So I need something new to play. And fortunately for me, a brand new game has just hit the market the same week as we finished with our last playthrough. It is a game about magic and wizard and a really old castle. That's right, Hogwarts Legacy has come out. I have to say, I'm excited to play it. So let's just see what it's all about. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside the school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the minister, uh, ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and sorting ceremony. Your sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Ooh, character creation. Uh, what looks semi like me? Well, let's go with this. It's it's not quite me, but it's 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 close enough. All right, shall we start my journey? Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Professor Fig. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well... I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! Eleazar! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> much too long. Right. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. All Ages right. since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. George Osric. Oh, 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 what did he say? What did he say? Oh, it's a ghost carriage. It's a flying ghost carriage. I really am excited about this game. You know, Star Wars games, Wizard games, they're both the same. One is Space Wizards and one is Earth Wizards. Fly all the way there, or we're gonna Glad take the train. You you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It yeah, is indeed. A little weird. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. 
Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. Mmm, <laughs> the Ministry of Magic. This? Goblin Rebellion. And uh, rocks. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, mm -hmm. I received this. It was the last thing she sent me earlier. A scroll of some it sort? It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Uh oh. Do I? I have powers. Can I speak goblin? I'm like the Harry Potter, Potter of the Goblin world. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Oh, okay. Well, sorry, other guy. Um. Okay, that's a lot of dragons. Oh no, those are not dragons. Those are our flying horses. Yeah. Yeah. Let's catch that thing. Nice. Nice. I can't remember the the uh, name of those uh, are you right? uh, uh, the horses. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wigan World. Okay. Adam's up. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... Dude just got pulled out of the back the of a carriage and eaten. Thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key or why. It's it's a pretty literal port key, right? Actually a key that ports you somewhere. I mean, it's not like it's the Goblet of Fire or anything. It's like a straight up port key. Okay, we're pretty high up. Port key take us farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she 
And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's okay. See if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I mean, this one right here along the edge of the. Uh... All right. Mind Move your on. step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. All right. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Mm. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Trying to get used to the camera controls are a little funky. But sir, I'm using a Steam I'm controller, so. For evidence of lost magic. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Right? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. City? It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one. Yay! We get, we get we get to play with it now. Okay. Focus on the center. Focus on the center. Basic cast. All right, new spell. Right trigger. Oopsie. Sorry for your up feet. Might have to adjust that. Move your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting instead. Okay. I have no idea what that means. We'll just go with it for now. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. What? Um. Stomp. Hit. Gather. Yes, I know. Follow Professor Fig. But what if we go... Nope, we're not going back up. That pot looks like it can be broken. Your one works improving with every cast. I oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. So I think it's just a lock on. The highlight is a lock on. I, I thought it was like something I could uh, break. Let's be honest. I thought I was playing any type of Zelda game. There's a pot. Ah, <laughs> Shoot it. Up there. Pot up there. Gotcha. Man, I can scramble up walls pretty good too. We're close now. It's just ahead. Wee bit breezy out here on the water. Yeah, you think? Oh, reconstructing the bridge. Nice. I can do the other one. Reducto. Boom, and there it goes. Almost there. Not gonna be a freaking jar left in this game. Sorry, that one went a little close to your head. I 
where we went now. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. There are a lot of jars. The minimap shows your surroundings with the little purple arrow in the middle. This is your current objective. Press and hold that thing to toggle objective things. Uh, okay. Yep. Boink. Boink. What about this giant statue of a dude holding a book and a soccer ball? Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Okay. Sorry for breaking all of your pots, sir. He says as he breaks some more pots. Oh, so many pots. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Let's shoot the hell out of it. Okay, I'm really bad at. You know what? It wants me What's to actually this? go up to it. Gotcha. Professor Fig. <gasps> uh oh. It's one of those mirror thingies. We have now gone from we've now gone from Harry Potter to Star Wars: The Last Jedi. How? Sadly. Odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What is it the room of the requirement? I don't uh, see anything. Requirement? Requ There's that glow requirement? Again, like the glow on the port key container. Interact with magic. Uh, try to port key. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And investigate. What in Merlin's name? Godric's the goblin? Where are we? I don't believe it. Where we were. No, we are inside of Gringotts. Hello? This is Gringotts, isn't it? A goblin? Yeah, we're inside of Gringotts. <clears throat> Moment. <laughs> <Ooh>. <clears throat> be. <clears throat> Are we doing time travel? Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Are we gonna happen to mine car? We are! After you. Nice. No, it's not a mine car, but it's a mine car. We're doing Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom right now. Uh, keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there? Hundreds. In fact, You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? 
Okay. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Whee! You want to take a breath? A what? Breath? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security huh. measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It was in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. All right. Vault number Vault 12. 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Fascinating. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Ambush incoming, I take it. Here we are. Just tell me I'm getting a giant pile of gold. I mean, technically, it is his wife's. But a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Okay. Vault 12, thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Never. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. <laughs> well, okay then. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. We are now Let stuck think. in a bank vault. There must be Another port something key. here. Uh, the mm. wall that's going? Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Uh, Let's really, see what we're really, missing, all right. shall we? Learning Ready new charms. And focus. Oh, jeez. Uh... Oh, I'm, I'm using my... Okay. Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. Yeah. Ask Rebellion. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead we're getting attacked by a dragon. Great, we're leading the way now. Lumos. This okay. is no ordinary vault. I yeah, that was another port key. Earn our way out of here. What do you mean earn our way out? 
Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. Revelio. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. All right. Glad he apparently knows where exactly where to go. I see something up ahead. What is it? That Another thing. Again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Looks like we're yes, under sir, the water. I'm fine. Uh, Revelio? You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The backwards? The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Yes. Wait. When now it moved, does. The reflection turned in the direction of the light. Oh, it's mm. a light. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. <gasps> I can learn Lumos? Yay. Alright. Oh, I get to put it somewhere? Uh. Acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos. Which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Okay. Hold on, right trigger and tap Y to cast it. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Like so. Nope. Like so. Okay, that was that was not. Mm. Well then, Chico. Nice. I want all this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, tap Y. I see it over there. We're in a tutorial. Gotcha. Owie. Okay, I have to... I have to get that timed a little bit better. Come at me, bros. Okay, wrong button. All right, we got that one. Exposure. All right, now we're going. Professor, where'd you go? Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Well, I'm gonna follow the little What's things happened? over here. Ah, the wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere now. Investigate. Alright, uh... Lumos. Revelio, 
I suppose I'm on my own this time. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Blue we're on our own this time. Looks like we have multiple ones to do. Is that close enough? Apparently. I need to align these statues with their reflections. That's what I'm doing. Calm down, voice inside my head. I got this. Maybe. Oh, are you kidding me? Yet? I can line them all up. Yes, I can. It seems I have no choice. There we go. Fight my way out of there. All right. Oh, owie! Wasn't ready. Still wasn't ready. Owie, and and I think I'm dead. <laughs> uh. Start from last save. Oh no! I just hit the wrong button. That's all. Hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies take extra damage. Okay, so now we're learning counters. Gotcha. Damn it. Don't hit me from behind. That one poor guy's gotten stupefy like three times in a row. Stupid. Ow. I have to get out of this corner where I can see myself. Oh, I'm dead. I got stuck in a corner. I couldn't a, uh, I couldn't see the, the glow, around my head when uh, it wanted me to do the protection spell. I'm gonna have to be careful with camera angles. Ouch. It's a big thing this time. That would be a door. Now we're now we're definitely in Lord of the Rings because that looks elven, elvish. Although by the look of the, the floors, we're like in Mordor now. Investigates. OK. 
concoction of some sort? There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But it's an elven fortress, obviously. Basin. That is no mere basin. It's pensive. That is a it has pensive. memories. That is what it is. For viewing memories. Yes, those are memories. I wonder. Yep. Pour them in. Then we go for a dive. I didn't even recognize it as a pensive. So it's the building of this vault. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. Earl's Rookwood. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. First of all, a rock. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see can. traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. So we, we can see we can. ancient magic. Just pulls it out. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Ancient. Traces of an ancient magic. magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam. And perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were we all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? All right, I go don't time. Know. But sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Okay, that's not good. He just... I have no Horse patience for training. Choke that dude. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Nice. Oh, that, that's definitely a security device. That's definitely a security... Okay, see, now we're in a door. That's the destroyer. <laughs> uh, it's time to go. Professor, 
time to go. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. He's a dark lord of the Sith. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Hogwarts. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. There's the train. Ladies and gentlemen, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, Is it good. the feast? Is we it the feast? The sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous, black. <laughs> okay. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> yeah, better hurry I'll up. Be in touch. A little bit of frame stuttering there, but wow. Professor Weasley, we've got <laughs> more to be sorted. Welcome. It's a Weasley. Just in time. Of course it Have is. Oh, another Weasley. Ravenclaw. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Can't wait to explore. Learning or exploring? 
I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. Fair enough. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Perhaps. The Sorting Hat will take your choice into account when sorting into your house. Ravenclaw, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. I mean, everyone's, there are going to be two groups of people, right? Slytherins and Gryffindors. I'll choose Ravenclaw. Check Ravenclaw. You belong in Ravenclaw. Get a little more blue in this. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has no! been cancelled. No! No, he's lying. I want to play Quidditch. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but... Don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. No, oh, I wanted to play Quidditch. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Oh, great. Uh... Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I'm ready. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts. All right, that is more than enough for today. That was a long intro. The rest of the episodes probably won't be this long, but I hope you all join me as I explore Hogwarts in its entirety over the next couple of weeks. Y'all have a great time, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. 
You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.